What's cooking good looking? We're gonna cook some fish. Some tilapia fish. Look at that. Mmm! He's already prepared it. It's but... already seasoned. Sorry, I need to do a video where I'm seasoning things, but this is what I use. I use Laurie's seasoned salt, some chicken bouillon. But I did some slits on the fish in order to get the seasoning in there. And we're gonna deep fry this fish. So, here's my disco with some oil in it. I think it's ready. Well, let's put them in. We're gonna do two at a time, boys. Two at a time. Oh, you smell that already? Oh, it smells good. <laughs> And we say that about everything, but it really does. <laughs> it's kind of windy, so we got our little wind blocker. Yeah, we got a little wind blocker. <laughs> you know? Wind. It was windier this morning, so I was kind of debating if to do it or not, but winds calmed down, so decided to. Let's do it. Smell that. Look at him sit. Now a lot of people ask me how much do we put on this fish? You know, how much seasoning? It's just as much as you think it needs, you know? I never measure my seasoning and it always comes out good. But, you know. You know, you think it needs some more? Go ahead and put some more. I'll tell you something, Mexicans don't measure their seasoning. We just throw it on there. Might throw in the third fish in there. I need to invest in the cooking table. I know. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. That one's gonna cook perfect. I can just tell. I'm cooking some rice right now, as always. Sui always likes to hang around when we cook. She thinks she might get something. Not today though, she can't eat fish. Hi Sue. She's like, yum, yum. This is what you want right here. Look at that. Woo. Golden brown, just like me. Again. <laughs> just like me. Look at that. Going deep fry them slow. Might have to turn up the oil a little bit. Turn it up! There. Third fish is coming in hot. Four, I'm sorry. Four, I'm sorry. Now when you flip in this fish and turn it over, you gotta be real careful because it will tear up. Look at that. What we looking for, boys? What we looking for? Pretty good, I say. And what are these called? Mojarras fritas. And tilapia fish. Are they a pretty popular Hispanic dish? Yes, very. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's my happy things. These fishes might be ready to get pulled out. We're gonna put it on this nice side, nice cook side. I should have waited to get some oil out of it, but oh well. That'll do, that'll be fine. Get this one real quick. Ooh. Hot, it'd be hot. Look at that, what do you think? 
put this. Can't wait till we go fishing, you know. We get a bunch of little, little crappy, you know. Some bass. Some bass, and we're gonna be deep frying. Mmm. Mmm. Get some catfish too, and I'm gonna collect some catfish and bread it up. Woo! Oh, that looks like something cooking. <laughs> Planning on doing a crawdad cook too. That I am. Never done it. Never done it. It's gonna be my first time. Crawdad boil. How's it taste? I haven't tasted this. I haven't had this taste in a while. Mm. Last time we had some of these, it was at your mom's house. Yep. That was a long time ago. You just put some lime and some salt on it. Just go ahead and eat it. I guess we still gotta wait for Abby's rice to be ready. Yeah, it's a work in progress. But we we'll get those time to cool off oh, a little. Look at that. Mmm. Some rice. Go and give it a little Mexican country style to this. Mashed neighbors. Store bought. <laughs> We don't have corn nuggets? Yes. Good. And then some corn nuggets and hush puppers. Hush dogs. Hush doggies. And that's it. And we got lime and lemon.